Avon Products reported a steep decline in profit for the second quarter this morning. Uh, they got a new CEO about three months ago, Sherry McCoy, but it's looking like an increasingly uphill struggle. Agnes, what's going on? Yeah, I mean, again, Avon has been in trouble for, for quite a while now. Right. And part of, it all kind of stems back to these missteps, these, ma these serial reorganizations that were done under Andrea Young, who was right. the former CEO, right. now chairman of the board. Now, we had a couple of things, right? So she... The board decided to get a new CEO, but they didn't really kick her out. They didn't really kick Andrea Young out. Exactly. They sort of kicked her to the next door office as executive chairman. Exactly. Now, we thought that was a bit odd at the time. Yeah, and right? again, I, I really feel like, I mean, the, the, you know, basically she had a plan for six years to kind of turn, you know, Avon's uh, operations around, and it's just, it, it really kind of has failed. I mean, again, listening to Sherry McCoy on the conference call, it's pretty much an indictment of the previous leadership, right. talking about, you know, the missteps that have gotten us here. It's taken a long time to get to this point. Right, we need to get right. back to basics, right. selling makeup, the right makeup right. to the right people. I mean, it's all very right. kind of Right, so this was the stuff. other thing we noticed in today's report, right? Sales reps are leaving. Now, one of the reasons people gave for keeping Andrea Young around was, are oh, the reps all admire her and look up to her? And, exactly. Well, well, they'll only stick around if she sticks around. Well, exactly. they're leaving anyway, so... Yeah, so I mean that, that's kind of like the last thing of like again, why are they keeping Andrea Young around? I mean, given right. the performance, and also I mean, if you're bringing in a new CEO who is going to shake things up and kind of you know critique what has been done before, I right. think it's a lot cleaner if you don't have the former you know CEO there kind of sticking your finger into it. And then there's also this uh, inquiry going on. Right. I mean, right. it looks like, I mean, Avon is saying that, uh, you know, they're discussing some kind of settlement. This is these anti-bribery charges uh, right. against Avon overseas. And right. this is the SEC and Department of Justice. It's pretty serious stuff. Now they're talking about a settlement. So I think that's helped the, sh the, the share price a bit. But again. Right. So the results are bad. That's maybe good. It's yeah. kind of evened out at just down a little this exactly. morning. As and far I, as and, we I, can and I think, I mean, shareholders, frankly, are, and, you know, I think analysts as well were kind of prepared that this was going to be another bad. Right. quarter and they're they're warning that you know the second half isn't going to be much better as well so right. you know again I think it's it's one of these things where you got to look at if you have a new CEO who really you know wants to turn a company around then they really need to take a look at why is Andrea Young still in the chair right position. and that's a job for the board I mean this Sherry McCoy has her work cut out the board exactly. to see the board missed the chance to do a deal with Coty which now exactly. looks quite which like it might not have been so bad given exactly. the share price, and but now they really need maybe to focus on Andrea Young again and say, okay, we need to exactly. leave the way clear. Yep. Okay, we'll leave it there. We'll be keeping an eye on Avon products and we'll have more from Breaking Views tomorrow.